Hello and welcome to a brand new video. I think in the last one, which was sort of Claire's birthday, didn't even have Claire in really. No. Did you enjoy your birthday, Claire? Thank you. Did you enjoy six? Yes, I did. I saw six it. last night. You might have seen a small clip from that if you saw our last video. Uh, yeah, we're in Milton Keynes today for a shopping experience. <laughs> To the Do you need the we're gonna go to the toilet so let's take you inside are you going um yeah i might do actually we have just been in the disney store <laughs> and disney store? brilliant absolutely we have just been in the I've, i'm pathetic claire it's, we've just been in the lego store uh yeah got some lego got we just got like a key ring and a couple of um build a uh, piece box Can pick and mix um, yeah, I'm looking for some specific trainers today. Adidas Galaxy 4s. We could have a look, I suppose, can't we? Get them much cheaper online. Oh, God. Happy birthday, Krispy Kreme. Yeah, 85th birthday. Yesterday they were doing like dozens for £8.50 if you told them or wished them happy birthday. And that's good, isn't it? So, yeah, very good value. I actually sent us some donuts to uh, promote. Right, we're now going to Harrods Beauty. I think, what's this for? To look at some um, perfumes and stuff. Big uh, pink there. Right, we're going to go in Rituals now because we're going to get some awesome shower foam. Last time I was in here, I actually ended up breaking one of their smelling sticks. So I need to be careful this time. Okay, so we just had an experience in Harrods Beauty where Claire and I were just discussing that we basically got sort of attacked by like a pack of velociraptors. Because like, oh God, can, can I help you? Can I, do you need anything? Oh no, we just, I know, you know, of course they're being friendly and nice and maybe they work off commission. So not really criticizing them directly, just having a bit of fun really. But yeah, we were like, oh no, thank you. Like we're just browsing for the time being. And then another one. Another one. <clears throat> See you straight away. Oh, can I help? No, 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 we're all right. We're, yeah. And then rituals, do love them in there. But bloody hell, it's an intense experience. Like you go in there, oh, do you need anything? Do you want some tea? No, thank you. That, I'm sure that's lovely for some people, but we're all right. 10 seconds later, oh, you, let me put some moisturizer on your arm. <laughs> and then, uh, then 10 seconds later, oh, let me give you a basket. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's not ideal. But you, you know, they're, not, they're very nice in there, that's the thing. Um, and what was the final thing that happened in, uh, in rituals? Energy. Oh yes, but yeah. <laughs> At the end, they're like, "Oh, let me just spray some energy on your bag." No, you're spraying marketing on my bag, yeah, because people will then see it and they'll smell it and they'll go, "Oh, let's get so." You're not spraying energy, yeah. So don't lie to us. But no, good. Um, the lighting here is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, we're having a nice it's time so far, aren't we? It's messing with my eyes. That's what I'm doing. What your the sun like you? Yeah, your eyes yeah. water, don't they? Quite yeah. a lot, and not just from being in a terrible relationship with a horrible man stupid. no I, I think we have a lovely relationship obviously I have uh, entrapped Claire which is a shame um, so yeah nice day so far I don't think we've spent a spent a decent amount of money so far we've bought some Lego and some rituals I got anything yet. yeah what are you what do you want then well I wanted some perfume but perfume I smell wasn't that good so. mm. yeah we'll try and find some nice things for Claire soon Yeah, actually, they do look a bit they do look a bit sporty, don't they? I like the curved, but no, not the. Uh... Yeah, it looks a bit too sporty. So we had a very successful trip to John Lewis. Got pretty much all the stuff that we wanted for coffee, coffee making. We're now in Slim Chickens for the first time ever. You think it's pretty good? I think it's really good. Um, the sauces are slightly salty, but they're very nice. The gravy mayo is really, really tasty, very savoury. Loads of different sauce options. And Claire and, Claire and I have each just got the chicken tenders meal, which comes with like chips and a bit of garlic bread, or as they call it, Texas toast. I got five tenders. Yeah, it's nice. So we are now at Stadium MK. The interesting thing about this venue, venue today is that uh, there's an, a Euro women's match on later. So here's the stadium. 
right there. Now I think it's Germany versus Denmark. But yeah, pretty cool. So loads of cones all around this area, like this entire wide area of MK to stop people parking on verges and stuff. The game's in like five hours. Um, so yeah, there it is. Good luck to both teams representing the countries of you know different sporting achievement uh, athletics. So yeah, should be a good games. Right, we've just had a bloody lovely shop in Asda, Milton Keynes slash Bletchley, the biggest Asda in the world, um, and we are now spotting the Chilatas. Ah, good. Uh, from Cinnabon. Uh, yeah, sure. Use the digital machine. Hopefully not sold out. I don't know what the hell they are though. Cold drinks. Oh wow. Mocha Lata Chilata, Mango Chilata, Cinnamon Roll Chilata. Wow. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... Uh, so yeah, we're home from the shopping spree trip, which is cool. So here's the pick-a-brick Lego that I got. As, I, as you can see, loads of the new colour of the Lego, the awesome bright neon. I think actually, I think it's just simply called neon yellow, Claire. Actually, it was originally being called by the fans highlight yellow, but yeah, I think it's called neon yellow. So that's cool. We got some cool rituals stuff. There's a mirror, some nuts. Uh, I slightly need the toilet actually. But um, yeah, cool. I was extremely happy to find these shorts in Primark because you don't normally see like Marvel shorts. Um, they're a large, unfortunately, really needed extra large, but I have tried them on and they are at least wearable. They're slightly, slightly tight, but wearable. Welcome to Sunday. We continue to experience hot temperatures in the UK. Like we said earlier, I think 40 degrees tomorrow. It's very hot today though. I don't know what on earth it is today. Um, but we are have, going to have a nice Sunday actually. We're going out for a Sunday lunch dinner. Not a like a, not a, like a roast, not like a Sunday lunch, but we're going for lunch on Sunday. We're going to Maya, Japanese restaurant. So I will take the camera and hopefully get a little bit of footage. Um, we love Maya, really nice Japanese restaurant in Aylesbury. Um, and we're going for their buffet, so we've never been to their Sunday buffet before, but I'm hoping it's going to be good. I think they've got like awesome like duck um, sushi with mango puree and like kareage, uh, which I think is like Japanese fried chicken. And they've got like yakitori and yakisoba noodles, all this sort of stuff. So it should be really awesome. Uh, in fact, we're going there quite soon, so we'll take you along very shortly. Right, haven't filmed that much today. Obviously, we were at Maya earlier, which was very nice, really good. Uh, it's fairly expensive for an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's like £26 per person. But as you saw, the food, food quality is, is really good. And like all-you-can-eat sushi, and like all-you-can-eat tempura veg, and chicken yakitori, and salmon, and noodles, and fried rice, and all this sort of thing. So there's loads on offer there, and you can absolutely rinse that and absolutely milk it. I mean, I had, I had a decent amount of food, to be fair. Probably over gluttonized today, so feeling quite bad, just because, you know, sort of ruining weight loss progress. But, um, sort of, yeah, had it booked in, and it was sort of a special occasion for Claire's birthday, wasn't it? So, yeah, uh, sort of let you off this time, let myself off this time, I guess. Um, but yeah, I had like eight pieces of the my favourite thing, which is the crispy duck mango puree sushi um and i had like just loads not loads but like tried everything else like the the salmon uh what was it salmon teriyaki yeah salmon teriyaki was really nice chicken yakitori was nice um and just all, all of the sushi was really good so yeah that was that was enjoyable uh, it is we're really starting to feel the heat now definitely a warm evening as we gently move into the evening hours um, and of course tomorrow is the big day, the big 39, and then I think it's 40 on Tuesday. So yeah, mental temperatures coming off, coming up, coming coming out, so yeah. Okay, the computer now says it's 35 degrees, this is the Monday now. It's supposedly getting up to 40 in some places today. So let's have a little look outside to see what, yeah. oh it's washed out in it. Yeah, we're in the shade at the moment. Yeah, 
yeah, warm. Hot. Very warm. 35, is it? Refreshing, though, so. I'm intrigued to see what the temperature of this water is because it's uh, we've got the you know the blinds and the curtains and everything shut and this hasn't been this has just been sitting on my desk so this is just going to be the temperature of oh that's cool isn't it ooh nice anyway this bit here the water what's that saying say that's all right. That's obviously not right. Is it basically picking up? Hang on, let me lift it. I won't be able to film this, but I'll lift it off the thing. Hey, 29.7. Sorry, is my water being being warmed to 30 degrees? That can't be right. Okay, the curtains. The curtains are 30. That bit's 32. That bit there, which is more in the sun, is 36 and a half. Fridge. Five degree iced coffee. I think I might have to get that out. Okay, I've just got, I've just filled my water up with like tap temperature. 25, I still don't see, I think it's not picking up, it's not picking up the temperature of the actual water, is it? Yeah, I think that's what's happening. So I've just popped out to the stores. I'm gonna get some syrup for the old coffee vibes. Um, it feels like being in a foreign country to be honest. It's, quite pleasant I mean I you know I quite like the heat personally I know that that's slightly controversial it's and it's not 40 today it's like 36 or something and I'm not I'm not I'm not one of those people going oh it's not hot it's just summer um, but I'm just saying yeah this is this is reasonable pleasant just concerning isn't it for the old Futurano but yeah um, yeah wouldn't want, wouldn't want to be on it in it out in it for ages to be fair though let's be clear just an interesting thing to experience in this country because i mean 35 36 well 36 there wouldn't be many times that i've ever experienced that if ever 40 would definitely i've never experienced 40. Uh, anyway i'm going into tk max it's absolutely arctic in here amazing air conditioning so yeah if you're in aylesbury and you do want to get away from the heat even though i'll be uploading this in like five days so the heat would probably be completely irrelevant by now but if you, if you, after all that, if you do want to, TK Maxx is the place to be. Absolutely divine. Right, so I'm stepping out of the ridiculously cool TK Maxx and experiencing the hot temperature. Yeah, very nice. Um, I've got two syrups, caramel fudge waffle cone. And this is well directed, isn't it? Um, Salted dark chocolate espresso. So two interesting ones. Just as Claire and I are up in our coffee game, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go home now. Tuesday, it is now officially the hottest day in UK history. Yeah, it's the hottest day since records began. So um, yeah, it hit something like 40.5 degrees somewhere. Um, there's like huge swathes of like places on fire in the UK like bushfires or whatever but like UK version so I guess like a shrub fire I don't know um, and yeah I've heard things about like when the temperature goes above 38 your the proteins in your body start cooking so that's why it's important to drink lots of water but yeah that's that's the update it does feel extremely bloody hot um, just refilling my water I've got about half an hour left of work so I'm gonna get on with a few little finishing bits um, and then cook dinner I think the sun has risen on another Saturday thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video the heat wave has now ended so it's cooler now which is much more comfortable when sleeping and stuff so that's good hope you enjoyed this video I can't tell you what's happening in the next one because I don't really know Bye.